let's understand the intuition of search theory in this video and we'll do it with an example so suppose we're looking for a job and that job pays anywhere between zero to a hundred dollars and let's say at the moment we found a job that's fifty dollars now the question would be what would be the benefit of looking for another job so looking for another job and giving us a benefit means that we would like to have a higher wage but we don't know for sure that that's gonna happen since we have to look for it we don't know what's gonna happen in the future so we are dealing with uncertainty we're dealing with uncertainty this is the this is from the topics in microeconomics that we work with uncertainty now a signal in our mind when we work with uncertainty has to be that we're going to work with probability so we have a probability that our wage can be greater than fifty dollars and because we're dealing with probability what we want to calculate is something in expectation so we want to calculate the expected benefit of having a wage higher than 50 and the reason we call it expected and not just pure benefit it's because this is uncertain we don't know for sure that this benefit is going to happen so the expected benefit is the probability times the benefit of that specific outcome now how would, how, how would that look like over here we're at $50 and we would like to have a wage higher than $50 so we would like a wage between $50 and $100 so somewhere in this range over here but we said that this is uncertain we said that we need to know the probability so how can we find the probability of this event of this outcome of having a wage higher than $50 well the probability is the same as proportion which means that we are looking for the proportion of this shaded area. Now, what is a proportion? A proportion is a ratio. What kind of ratio? This specific length relative to the entire length. So the proportion would be, in this case, 100 minus 50, 100 minus 50, relative to 100 minus 0, 100 minus 0. So that's 50 over 100 and that's equal to 1 over 2. So we have a 1 over 2 or a 50% chance of finding a job higher than $50. And intuitively, if we look even on the graph, that makes sense because from 50 to 100, that's halfway through uh, as it goes from all this graph. So halfway means 50% of it. So this probability makes sense. Now let's have a look what would be the expected benefit. And to know the expected benefit, we must know what kind of wage can we expect? Like what, 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 what kind of wage could be higher than 50? Now, what's our best guess? Because this is again uncertain. This is uncertain. So we must know how to estimate this uh, new wage, this higher wage. We have no reason to think that that higher wage could be 51 or 57 or 94 and so on so the best guess without having any information is to take the average now the question is what kind of average well the average would be in this case the midpoint the midway through 50 to 100 also we call it the median so if we take the middle point or the median as we say between these two points that would be the best guess for our higher wage that would be the average wage that we can expect to have so this would be our best guess now what is this median what is this middle point well the middle point between 50 and 100 would be 75 because it's 25 from 100 and 25 from 50 now that would be our best guess but we are talking now about the benefit what's the benefit of having a wage higher than 50 well if we would have a wage of 75 because in, in expectation we we expect that 75 minus 50 gives us an additional 25 dollars and that would be our benefit so we're speaking about this area over here that could be our benefit so our benefit would be $25 but we also know that that's not for sure there's only a 1 over 2 probability to happen so if we take all this into a into a summary then the expected benefit would be the probability times the benefit which means that the expected benefit would be the probability of 1 over 2 times this potential benefit from having a higher wage and that would equal to 12.5 dollars so in expectation by taking into account the probability we might have a gain a benefit of 12.5 dollars hope this makes sense and we are done